Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a review on this, my water purification bottle. Um, at the minute I've just got normal water in there and this is how I carry it because there's never any water in my wood so I've come out a bit further today to this dodgy look at the stream so hopefully it's going to, uh, I say dodgy because there's a few bits here that look like they could be petrol or something, I hope not, but the water's running quite fast and stuff so we've got flow it's not stagnant water so I'm hoping and it's a stream you know it's it's quite fast down there so I'm hoping it's going to be fine at the minute I've just got normal tap water in here and I use that just through the drinking nozzle so get rid of that then you add this filter the filter is housed in there and you screw that same as the Webtex one I believe although I've never had that so don't quote me on it you screw that into there and then if you unscrew that a bit further you can see that's the actual filter there and then that screws out and can be replaced every time I've got the piece of paper that came with it in my pocket so I'm going to get that out just to read all the specifications and stuff because obviously I can't remember everything. So it's made by a company called Drinksafe Systems. .co.uk, they're a British company and I think they provide these to like Africa and stuff. I found it on eBay but they've got a website and this particular model is called the Explorer Micro Purification Water Filter Bottle. Um, that filter can deliver up to 1600 litres of instant purified filter water which is good it instantly removes chemicals so we might be all right with if there is a bit of petrol in there we'll see tomorrow herbicides pesticides purification chemicals and taste sediments and trace metals waterborne diseases including cryptosporidium guardia e coli viral diseases viral disease causatives anthrax now that's the Webtex one, even the Catadyne ceramic filters that can set you back a good 300 quid, they don't remove anthrax, so that's why I went with this one. So bacteria and protoses, chemicals, bad toast and odour, sediments. Now they do say if you've got really heavy sedimented water you should get a little cup, um, fill it up, leave the sediment to settle and then fill this in, or perhaps put your bandana over the top of there, or perhaps use your Millbank bag first. Like I say, this water is pretty fast running. So uh, I'm not going to bother with any of that. Now this has been in storage for a while. Although I've used it like that, I haven't used the filter. I've only I've only ever used this with tap water because I've not got any water in my woods and I've not had this that long. Um, sink in it. I may sink. Just so. Whoa. This is a good time to test my waterproof boots. Yeah, we'll see how waterproof these new, well, fairly new carry more boots are. So what I'm going to do, because I haven't used it for a while, is I'm going to fill it up as much as I could then, and I'm just going to run that through. clear the filter out. So you just squeeze the bottle. Obviously that goes a little bit slower now than, um, than when you do it without the filter because the water is passing through the filter. So this is just to get rid of any carbon from the manufacturing process apparently and then also when it's been in storage. That might gather around the filter. Now the thing I want to be careful of. Oh police car just went past there. I wonder what if they'll come and arrest me for doing weird things. Making videos. Um, yeah, you don't want to get any of you don't want to get any of this wet with the water from the stream because obviously even a little drop if it's got anything bad in it, it hasn't gone through the filter, you're gonna know about it. Oh 
Jesus. So now I'm going to fill this back up. This is really boggy. And quite cold. Okay, so got it filled up to about there. Gonna screw that lid on. Now what like I say I don't want to get any water from the river around there so I'm just gonna dry anything off, dry the bottle off so it can't run up the the length of the bottle and then I accidentally get a drop of that crap in my mouth. So, here goes, let's see. That tastes lovely, just like tap water. So the odour removing actually works as well. Now, if you know if you're doing it with, um, I've drunk out of streams loads of times, not like that, but um, when I've been away hiking and stuff, I've put the purification tabs in, chlorine, and the iodine, I think, or whatever the hell it you, we used to use. And then you always got that foul, foul taste. Even when you boil it, you get that foul taste. This. No problem. That tastes lovely. Just like tap water, it's amazing. I'm so amazed, because like I said, I've only ever used this with tap water, because I haven't got any water, as I explained at the beginning. So this is the first time I've actually used it. And that is. spot on. I think they go for about uh, 35 quid. Well worth it. This is going to be my water for my hike back to my house. Lovely. Um, obviously the name will be in the top. I'll try and put a link in the info bar as well. All right. Cheers for watching. Mm.